Before we begin our next experiment, we are going to learn a new word today. The word is inertia. Do you remember we already learned Newton's first law of motion? This concept of inertia plays a role there. In this experiment, we are going to explain the concept of inertia, which is the property of an object by which it maintains its state of rest or motion as long as no external force is acting on it. It is Newton's first law of motion. You already know that and we have already proved it. Now, we are going to show you the concept of inertia. For this, you will need an empty glass, a piece of cardboard, and a coin. You can use many coins if you want to. I'm using one coin here. So shall we begin our experiment? First, I am going to place the cardboard over the mouth of the glass. Next, I am putting a coin on top of the card in the center of the glass. So make sure it's in the center. So now you're going to use your finger to pull the card out of the glass. Let's see what happens. So what happened? The coin did not come along with the cardboard. It fell into the glass. This is because the coin continues to be in its state of rest. While we pull the cardboard, the cardboard is acted upon by an external force. But the coin remains in its state of rest. And after we pull the cardboard, the force of gravity acts on the coin and pulls it into the glass. This time I'm doing it again, but I'm not going to pull the card this time. I'm going to just flick it. So let us see if the same thing happens once again. So did you see that? Now you can explain why it happened. When I flick the card, the card was in a state of motion because of the external force applied by me. However, the coin was in a state of rest. According to Newton's first law, an object in a state of rest stays in that state unless an external force acts on it. So since the coin was at rest, when the cardboard moved, the force of gravity pulled the coin into the glass. So I hope you understood the property of inertia and Newton's first law of motion.